millions, if not billions of people suffer from thyroid problems around the world. So today in this video I will be telling you, 3 simple steps you can follow to help cure hypothyroidism. Thyroid gland is located at the front of our throat just below the Adam's apple. The thyroid gland secretes hormones which regulate many metabolic processes, like growth and use of energy. Thyroid is responsible for providing energy and controlling functions like, how your heart beats and how your digestive system work. Very common thyroid problem that people suffer from is, hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism happens when your thyroid gland underperforms and doesn't produce enough thyroid hormones. Thyroid disease is more common in women than men due to very sensitive hormones. One in eight women will develop hypothyroidism at some point in their life. Now let's look into some of the symptoms of hypothyroidism. Some common signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism are fatigue, weight gain, puffy face, constipation, depression, slow heart rate, dry skin, thinning hair, pain and weakness, Menstrual changes Most common way to determine if you have thyroid condition is through blood tests. Most common cause of hypothyroidism is, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is an autoimmune disease and constitutes to almost 90% of hypothyroidism condition. This disease attacks thyroid gland leading to inflammation and reduction in thyroid function. Some of the very common treatments for thyroid disease as per doctors are Surgical removal of thyroid gland But this will lead to taking thyroid medication for rest of your life as your body won't be producing any thyroid hormones. Other way suggested by doctors is to take medicines to replace thyroid hormones. But don't worry if you follow these three steps which I am about to tell you, you will be able to accelerate lessen or even cure the effect of hypothyroidism on your life. Please stick till end of this video as I will be telling you one bonus step which you can do every day to heal your thyroid disease. First step will be to avoid certain foods. Avoid eating foods with soy like edamame and tofu. Soy consists of isoflavones which can have negative effects on thyroid. Too much of soy may increase risk of hypothyroidism. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli or cauliflower are another food to lessen. Please stress on word lessen but not to avoid. These vegetables may block the thyroid's ability to absorb iodine which is very important for thyroid function. If you still want to have, please steam the vegetables for at least 30 minutes before consuming them. Gluten-free food will be very next thing to avoid. Gluten is found in food like, wheat, pasta, and rice. Gluten can irritate small intestine and also hamper function of thyroid hormone. Another food you need to lessen is beans and legumes which are high in fiber. Too much fiber content can complicate your hypothyroidism treatment. Step 2 will be, some of the food you need to add to your diet. Seaweed Seaweed is rich in iodine content. Iodine is very crucial for thyroid gland to function efficiently. Probiotics Probiotic-rich food consists of good bacteria, which helps maintain your gut healthy. Probiotics prevent gut lining from irritation and maintaining good flora. Step 3 will be supplements. I have added links to all the supplements in the description if you want to get one for yourself. Iodine Iodine will be number one supplement as it helps with better functioning of thyroid gland. Selenium is another mineral which constitutes the major part of the thyroid gland. 
so you can well understand why it is the important element. Ashwagandha Ashwagandha is an adaptogenic herb which reduces body's response to stress and help every gland in body. It also lowers cortisol and balance T4 levels. Now the bonus step will be using walnut oil. Yes walnut oil, if you massage your front throat area with walnut oil daily it will provide relief from inflammation of thyroid gland and help heal it quickly. You can check link in description to buy this oil. If you would like to learn about foods that can save your heart, click on the video showing up here. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so you never miss a new video.